What if I told you you could play a game and earn rewards, basically get paid to do it? You probably heard that pitch before. Here's another opportunity. But wait, there's more. They're bringing a battle royale to market, powered by NFTs, non-fungible tokens. They've already dropped their own token that's farming at play, and they're on multiple blockchains. We're going to be looking at someone who's really trying to gamify the cryptocurrency space. And you're gonna see that that was really punny by the end of this video, but right now you don't get it. And that's why you gotta stick around. And that's why you gotta meet Tails. If you wanna speak to the manager, that is her. She owns the channel, my name's Vosk. Make sure to slap that subscribe button and let's jump into another crazy crypto video on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Are you interested in earning some easy passive income mining Bitcoin? Well, thanks to our monthly sponsor, Compass, they can make that possible. They're based out of the US, they can ship miners to your house or connect you with big farms to have them co-located there. And they even service the entire world. Learn more about Compass with our link out in the video description below. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm also going to assume that you know what MetaMask is, you have it set it up, and you know how to use it with the Binance Smart Chain, with Avalanche and with polygon if you need to learn how to do any of those things we've got video guides on all of that that i'll link out in the video description below so gamify see what i did there in the intro now it's all coming full circle um they made today's video possible and play games win rewards it's a pretty fun simple pitch right multiple games predict results to earn rewards trade nft tokens on their nft marketplace low fees permissionless platform i mean to be honest that sounds cool right so they're a blockchain based esports and gaming platform which incentivizes gamers and sports enthusiasts for their skills and knowledge with exciting rewards and nfts gamify is a blockchain technology based platform that uses crypto as the in-game currency say no more fam that's it right nft battle royale battle royales are obviously huge they've gained such a huge market share in gaming if you don't know PUBG really set it off and before that h1z1 right and then obviously fortnite apex call of duty in their blackout version and you know among many other games nft marketplaces are huge look at OpenSea, valued in the billions of dollars looks rare a new open sea competitor huge valuation on their launch sports prediction not really my thing but people love FanDuel and DraftKings and numerous other sports betting apps right fantasy sports app which is kind of within that same realm this isn't some random hole-in-the-wall anonymous project they've got some bigger backers between Bitmart Cardia Ventures among many others listed here on this list and they also boast this list of partners here Again, not an anonymous project. We'll look a bit more at their team later. But we open up their NFT marketplace. We can see that it supports numerous blockchains here. Pretty simple, pretty like basic stuff, right? We click over to Binance Smart Chain and let's see what kind of support we see there. Right now, their marketplace supports multiple cryptocurrencies, but one of those would be the GFX token. And that GFX token is going to be their token and well how do you even get that so this is traded on multiple blockchains we pull it up on binance smart chain or excuse me bsc scan for binance smart chain in the bep 20 version uh, which we've got 944 holders we pull it up on ether scan for the erc 20 version or the ethereum token version 500 holders we pull it up on polygon scan which is technically an erc 20 token but it's on a different chain it would be Polygon Matic, 352 addresses holding this token. So, with that in mind, most addresses would be the, Bi or the Binance Smart Chain, which means that we should have the most liquidity there, which means that we should have the best deal. But as we pull this up on PooCoin, PooCoin's only pulling a quarter million market cap, and 63% of that liquidity is from an unlocked wallet. So just understand that this is new, this is a risky. Right, so blipping over to Dex tools here, we can punch in the token address on Ethereum and it pulls $100,000 of liquidity. 
and they estimate the market cap to be $3 million. And that's also kind of one of the things here is when you're dealing with multiple blockchains. So you split the liquidity in the search for broadening your potential investors and user base, right? And it's a little bit of a dilemma. Per Dex tools on the Polygon chain, it's pulling a market cap of $600,000 and the total liquidity of a whopping $671. So per all these metrics, you should be getting the best price on the Binance Smart Chain, which all of these metrics fall in line with kind of what you would guess. So let's say I just want to do a quick trade, right? So I want to grab 12 GFX 0.01 BNB. I'll click trade in here and I'll prove it. And that swap will be completed. A key thing to note is that I just had a 12% price impact. Like, so basically any way you slice this, your best bet for buying into this token, if you really want to buy a decent chunk, will be going over to Hotbit because they've done $30,000 in the last 24 hours in volume, whereas Uniswap has done 2,000, and PancakeSwap and QuickSwap on Polygon are so low, they're, they're not even being tracked here. But anyway, we've got our demo GFX here to kind of get started and, and see what we can do. So let's click back to the NFT marketplace and let's sort it from low to high. So there's no low bids here for GFX, but there is 0.01 WBNB, which is wrapped BNB, which is just simply BNB or Binance coin traded on top of the Binance Smart Chain. Unfortunately though, when I go to place this buy order and my wallet is connected, let's double check that. So I'm on the Binance Smart Chain, my wallet's connected, and here we go. So I needed to do that again. So first I have to give them permission to access my WBNB. This is to be expected with a platform like this. Understand that you give that permission and hey, you're, you're giving them permission to access those tokens. So I did that, I opened that up. And then at that point, I'm going to bid to buy the token here. That's what the, that transaction was. And from there, I will be bidding at this price offer see if we can get good old tatters right here that, to be honest, he's looking a little creepy, but that's also why he's priced the lowest. And just like that, my bid has been set. But to be honest, let's jump back over to this NFT battle thing, right? So I'm in their app, I'm on NFT battle, I'm on the Binance Smart Chain. Again, you could be using these other chains. I connect my MetaMask. I have at least one GFX in my wallet. So I will go ahead and proceed to claim this. It's a contract interaction, so there will be a fee associated. So the transaction was confirmed and I'm supposed to have claimed my NFT. So I refresh the page here and I have a level one Gamify Serene. And uh, yeah, so I've got that and I can choose my NFT. I will go ahead and join this NFT battle. Next battle looks like it will be starting soon. It looks like it runs for an entire minute. And just like that, I'm in the battle. I'll be honest, I was expecting a little bit more exciting gameplay, but um, you know, we'll consider this one a beta. Let's check out the mine here. So we need to have a staked NFT, you need at least one level two NFT to stake. Please claim an NFT and join a battle to be eligible. So it looks like I got a battle and level up and whatever else. But speaking of farming, right? So if we if we open up their app and we see earn up to 250% staking the GFX token. Well, okay, let's learn about that. We click over to Uniform. We are on the Binance Smart Chain version of it. And then we will come in here and punch our token in GFX. And let's just say we wanna deal with one token right now. And it says I don't have any GFX in my wallet but that would just be wrong it says this pool has ended but this over here kind of seems like it's a different pool either way it's not working for me to bring it back and round out our information on gfx though right an erc bep 20 token here rewards for their platform governance for their platform utility within their platform per their site they're ranked 2242 of all cryptocurrencies when ranked by coin market cap 
they are pulling a market cap of $1 million, reporting a volume of $2,000. And this is the 24 hour low and high, which I believe that those metrics would be pulled from their Uniswap listing here. And that seems to line up exactly with the metrics on CoinGecko. So that I believe is where that information is being pulled from. Again, not an anonymous team, which is really cool to see. We can see Raul here. We can see Satya. Sorry if I said your name wrong, I probably did. And we can see Akil. And you know, obviously in these, these two avatars, you do not see their pictures, uh, but they do have pictures associated with them on their site. And if they're running around with fake pictures, then we can consider this project as good as dead. So I hope that that is not the case along with these ex-Google at Bitfinex advisors that they are sporting. They also have a blog on Medium, which I invite you to read and learn more about this project if it interests you. They recently created a post about their Genesis NFT collection, receiving a use case for their project and GFX rewards. On top of that, yeah, but wait, there is more, my friends. Thank you so much for asking and tuning in today. It would be their audit, and it's one of the most useless audits I've ever seen. It has all these severity issues, and they literally just say like NA for all of them. Um, and they just kind of run through this. It was completed, you know, getting closer to a year ago than recently. And, you know, things change, uh, whatever else. Anyway, they've had an audit, but we really need an updated audit, an actual good audit by someone like Certic or another reputable company. Um, they basically say that, hey, yeah, nah, not applicable. Um, you know, it's, they check stuff. It seems all right. It's just like, I haven't seen a fairy audit before and I hope I don't see another one again. So that's the overview of GFX and Gamify. I love this this basically piece of the sector. Um, obviously the game is a little lackluster. The site, functional, yet yeah, clunky. I think they're building a lot. Maybe they're spreading themselves a bit too thin. Even just one of these pieces kind of taking off would lead to an incredibly successful project and highly valued. This is a low cap coin. This is not for noobs to get in and. I think it's going to be, you know, easy, simple ride. I mean, this thing could easily lose, you know, 50, 75, 80% more of its value. But just like that overnight, it could double. That's what it's like to play with low cap coins. This is a financial advice. You do your own research, whatever you want to do. And above all, I hope you enjoyed our third party review today. If you did, slap that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow because we are uploading daily. Thanks for watching. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.